first tool, Hunter.io. This is a kick-ass tool when it comes to bulk domain verifications. It's also pretty good for basically verifying single emails and just getting the enrichment of a single company or a single email as well. And you could do that through the domain search right here. But the best aspect of the tool is basically the bulks because you can purchase any plan. You could see it right here. So growth, pro, right? And then business, which basically means that you're allowed up to 30K monthly searches. So that's 30,000 enrichment, right? And 60,000 verifications. 60,000 verifications basically means that you can verify 60,000 emails. And then 30,000 searches means that you can enrich 30,000 emails. And again, that's monthly. On the topic of bulk tasks, right? The one that I personally use the most is the domain search. So that basically means that I'll usually scrape a bunch of domains from a certain website, from a certain directory, etc., And we'll then upload those domains into the domain search as a list of website or companies. So right here, right? And here you could see a lot of different enrichments that I've done, but above all, uh, verified enriched emails, which is really, really important. Next up, we have Instantly. And um, the reason as to why I'm covering Instantly today is primarily because it was something that was a topic of discussion in the Growth Hacking Bootcamp. And we, as a bunch of students, and me as the guy who runs it, we basically jumped into a lifetime deal of Instantly, which basically allows us to send unlimited emails, but we're only allowed to keep up to 25,000 contacts in Instantly. So that means that whenever we're basically close to the limit, we need to remove some of the contacts directly from the uh, campaigns or from the email account section, etc. This is basically an alternative to Snov. It's an alternative to Lemlist. The reason as to why I'm covering it though is primarily because of the warm up feature. So it's totally free and you can warm up as many emails as you want. So you can actually see one of the warm up emails right here. So from Jamie Sullivan, hello, we're excited to hear about your interest, intro, blah, blah, blah. And this is all AI generated, all of this text, like none of it is handwritten. It's all AI automated and it was sent via Amazon says, and here you could see IWE. So I think that's instantly warm up. And the warm up feature of instantly.ai is pretty good, uh, primarily because it's it does the back and forth, right? And it's pretty consistent and you have a lot of settings with regards to uh, what you wanna do. And it gives you the stats as well of like how many emails are ending up in spam, how many emails are ending up in inbox, etc. And it does it with all domains. So it does it with Outlooks, it does it with Zoho's, it can do it with just about anything. But that's instantly.ai, kick-ass email tool. The deliverability is a little bit iffy, but the warm up aspect of it is amazing. Another one, uh, this is Zoho. And Zoho is super, super cool because in deliverability, it's just like G Suite. And I've proved this using Glock Apps, which is a deliverability tool. But in cost, it's significantly cheaper. For G Suite, you're paying $5 per month, right? I think I'm paying five euros per month. And the price will increase as of July, 2022. And for Zoho, you're paying one euro per month or $1 per month, right? But you have to pay for the entire year. So you're getting an annual seat for 12 for example. And the deliverability is just as good. Uh, they have a bulk email sender as well, and you can plug in tools like instantly directly into Zoho and do your cold email outreaches. Outlook sucks deliverability wise. And if Zoho has the same deliverability, but is significantly cheaper, it basically makes perfect sense to go for Zoho to begin with. The setup can be a little bit tricky, but Zoho can also be pretty easy to set up if you get the gist of it. Next up, Linked Helper 2. So I'm constantly asked like, what's my favorite LinkedIn automation tool right now? Personally, I don't really use any LinkedIn automation tools. Uh, now we do everything everything using virtual assistants because they come they come with accounts. We don't need to look at proxies significantly easier. But if I was going to look at any LinkedIn automation tool, just from a price uh, perspective, it'd be linked helper to 100% uh, primarily because it's so cheap. The proxies that you can onboard are also cheap. It's customizable and you could do so much, but you do need to run this on a VPS. But again, if I'm going to look at any LinkedIn automation tool out there, it's linked helper to primarily from a price perspective, because the other ones uh, you're paying 100 euros per month per account and the results are just it might bug, your account might get blocked. But if I'm looking to re-experiment with one, it's hands down linked helper too. Next up is vidIQ. This shows you the volume of searches. And then this also shows you the competition on the search term itself. On YouTube, you have three types of algorithms right now. You have the shorts algorithm, you have the trending algorithm, and then you have the search algorithm as well. If you suck with content creation, like me sort of, if like your videos aren't like Mr. Beast style, then your best bet of gaining some YouTube traffic is hands down the search algorithm itself. But for that, you you need to do some search research in order to know what keywords you want to rank for. And trust me, there's channels that have been built to 1 million subscribers using just search uh, itself and uh, low quality videos just placed on good quality search terms. But to do this, uh, you need a tool that's going to tell you what's worth 
putting videos on, right? So this is exactly why I use vidIQ, just the free version. And this will basically tell you the volume, right? And then the competition as well. And then you can verify this on the back end using Google Trends here. So the actual search volume has declined for crypto influencer marketing worldwide, right? We could even do it over the past five years. Overall decline spiked a little bit, then it declined, but the competition is still low. So I always use vidIQ primarily for this. I have a lot of search terms that I captured for tools, for strategies, etc. And that's one of the best ways for generating traffic to a YouTube channel and then essentially converting the traffic into a community, to an email newsletter or anything of that sort. That's it, guys. Thank you so much. And I'll catch you on the next one.